Hip replacement is designed to eliminate the pain that affects the patient's quality of life or their daily activities. And it's one of the most successful operations performed in the United States in doing just that. So a hip replacement is an operation that removes the arthritis portion of the ball in the hip joint as well as the arthritis portion in the socket of the hip joint and replaces it with an artificial ball and socket so that the patient can walk relatively pain-free as well as have improved range of motion of their hip. The first type of replacement is a partial hip replacement. That's a very common operation and essentially just the ball part is replaced but the ball part functions as a um, partial replacement for the cup as well. The next uh, level of replacement is a total hip replacement which is the most common procedure performed in the United States regarding hip replacements and this is a traditional replacement of replacing the arthritis on the ball and the arthritis in the socket. There are different bearing surfaces that um, may be better for patients depending on their age and their activity level. And then finally, the last uh, type of hip replacement is a hip resurfacing. Hip resurfacing is an artificial joint replacement. It leaves more bone on the ball portion of it and tends to use the exact same size, if not slightly larger, on the cup side. The typical journey that somebody would come before they come and see me for an evaluation of their hip pain would be that they would uh, seek care at their primary care physician. Uh, typically the primary care physician would prescribe some form of um, pain medication. Typically it's in the form of Tylenol or perhaps some other non-steroidal type of medication. And uh, certainly physical therapy may play a role in uh, helping their pain. Oftentimes I recommend the use of a cane for some patients that decreases the forces about their hip joint but once those measures have failed and the patient's still complaining of pain that affects their quality of life or their daily activities, then those patients are candidates for surgery in the form of hip replacement. The outcomes are exceptional. Over 90% of patients have success in eliminating their pain that affects their quality of life or their daily activities. Discussing patient expectations is one of the most important parts of counseling patients before their surgery and again the hip replacement is designed to eliminate their pain that affects their quality of life. Um, regarding the specific types of activities which they can perform um, there are uh, really no specific list that patients can follow. I think some of the uniqueness of Tufts Medical Center is the fact that the expertise level here is the highest that I've ever seen and I've been to many different hospitals on my journey to uh, Tufts. And we really have world-class physicians at all levels of specialty. And so I think that being able to take care of patients, the most complex patients, the most extreme uh, medical and surgical um, cases really should be done at a place like Tufts.